Hello friends, this is Rajesh and you are watching Info.Food Campus. So today we are going to create our first React app. So before starting the video, make sure you have subscribed to this channel by clicking on this subscribe button and then press this bell icon and then click here all because when I will upload a new video, you will get the notification first. Okay. Okay, so in the previous video, we have seen the complete setup of React.js, how to install and set up the node in your computer. And you also have to install the VS Code. So if you have not watched that video yet, please watch that video. So after completing your setup, we'll create our first React app. So first of all, just go to your desktop and then create a folder like this a React full course or like any name. Okay. And then just click here and then just double click here and then select all and then type here CMD and it will redirect you to the cmd and then type your code space dot and then press enter and this will redirect you directly to the vs code editor okay now you can see we are in the vs code editor this is our folder that is your react full course okay so now simply click on this terminal and then click on this new terminal so now we'll create our first react app and what is the command to create the first react app so just simply type your npx create hyphen react r e a c t and then hyphen and f okay so npx and then space and then create hyphen react hyphen f and then give a space here and then give your f name or project name here so this is the f name so you can give here any name so just press enter and you can see creating a new react app in this path so it will take some time to create your react and finally you can see it's successfully created so we have successfully created our first app so before going to the folder structure or inside this first app we'll see what are the recommended commands so you can see here to start the app, you can start by just writing your npm start. Okay. So before starting the project, make sure you have on that particular project or app which you have created. So we have created our first app, but we are in this folder React full course. So for that, you can see the recommendation here CD first app. So first of all, you have to write here cd first app then you can start the app so just type here cd first app then press enter and now we are in first app in our project okay then just type here this command npm start npm space start and then press enter and you can see the project is automatically started in this local host 3000 okay so this is the default design of the react app so we can modify it okay so let's go to our project that is first app just click on this first app and you can see the different types of file and folder okay let's zoom it yeah now it's okay so inside this first app there is a node module so what the node modules so node module is just a folder so in this folder all your project packages are included in these node modules so this is a huge folder if you open this all the dependencies are included in these node modules so you don't have to do anything with these node modules just keep it as it is so next you can see public folder and source folder so what is in the public folder you can see a favicon then index.html then some logo and then manifest and robots.txt so we'll discuss all these in details in a dedicated video so which you can see in the next video so as of now just select these files one by one and just delete this because we want to see the whole format in a simple way with some very basic structure okay so you can see here there is only index.html in this public so let's see what is inside this 
source folder okay so in the source folder we'll delete all the unnecessary files right now and the next video will discuss about the folder structure of this project so as of now we'll keep this project very simple and the project structure will be very simple okay so in the source folder you can see different types of files here so you can see here we have called the component from here so if you click on this app so this will come to here and you can see here is the text learn a react and if you go to this and you can see here here is the learn a react text okay so we'll uh, keep this app.js and index.js okay so all the other files is not necessary as of now so just select that files one by one and delete this okay so all the files are deleted so now we'll go to index.html and here you can see this is the head tag and in the head tag there are some comments also so just remove this comment from here now in the body tag you can see there is also some comment so just remove this comment now you can see in the body tag there is only two lines of code so one is no script and the another is a div with a id root okay so just save it okay now uh, move to the source folder and inside this just remove this unnecessary comments from here and they remove this line and they remove this index.css and this report web vitals also so you can uh, remove this react.strict mode from here so just uh, remove this now you can see this is very simple just we are rendering our app component so you can see here document dot get element y id root so this root is in our public folder and inside this index dot html so we are showing the result inside this div so from here we'll go to the app component and in the app component you can see these are the unnecessary lines just uh, remove these lines and inside the return just remove this from header and there's simple uh, diff okay and inside this diff we'll uh, write some text like input output campus and save this and you can see all the errors is gone and if you go to the browser you can see the text here like input output campus okay so just give your uh header tag like h1 and give your text inside this and save this and go to the browser and you can see and you can see the output here okay so next is this git ignore so git ignore is to use to ignore the files while we'll upload this project in the github you can see all these files will be ignored that is all this file will not be uploaded in the github for security purpose okay so for this reason git ignore is here so next you can see is a package.json so package.json is the most vital and important file because in this package.json all the necessary dependencies are installed so if you install some dependencies or package you can see that will be reflected here now you can see here package log.json so package log.json stores all the information about these dependencies so suppose here is the dependency react or react dom so package log.json stores all the information about these each dependencies in this package log.json file okay so hope you understand how to create your first react app and run it with very easily without following this simple step so if you find this video helpful then please share this video with your friends and share this react playlist with your friends who are interested to learn react okay friends so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video till then take care